All right, <clears throat> welcome to a new video. I'll um, do a 15-minute game again. I actually tried to the last couple of days, but somehow um, I waited so long in those 15-minute um, pool, and um, so I I went for five minutes instead to get games quicker. Okay, um, I got a Sicilian here, and. Um, Try to mix openings here to play um, this line, which is um, yeah mostly refer referred to as uh, the classical line with knight c6, f6, and d6. He played bishop c4, which is uh, mostly called uh, the Sozin attack, an old favorite of um, Bobby Fischer actually. Yeah, Black's main move is e6 here. Um, yeah, I don't uh, really know the details here, so I need to <laughs> make up my own theory here as the game goes on. I only know that um, White has yeah two two basic plans: um, to go for a quick long castle or, or short castle. Um, okay, bishop b3. Not quite sure what's the right uh, move order here. I guess a6, bishop e7, and so on should be fine. And I think if um, white goes for long castle, he usually um, keeps the bishop here for a couple of moves longer. So looks like he's more likely to go for for short. Okay. Yeah, usually if white goes for long castling here, he plays uh, queen e2 to keep uh, the g4 square covered, that I cannot really play bishop, uh, knight to g4. And if he wants to castle short, yeah, he would do it now, I guess. Okay, long castling after all. But he's got uh, this bishop here. Yeah, usually it needs to move there anyway. But uh, I'm not sure if this um, is entirely normal. Yeah, I guess this is, this is a normal position again. Not sure if, if I should castle first or play something like knight a5 and b5. But short castle cannot be that bad, I guess. Yeah, interesting here is g4. One point could be I take on d4, let's say g4, I take on d4, bishop takes, then I have e5, the bishop attacked and and uh, g4 hanging. So maybe he needs to recapture with the rook in order to play on e5, rook c4, which looks uh, somewhat weird, but somehow I think um, lines of this kind exist. But I also think um, even rook g1 is a valid move here. Rook h g1 and then g4. White gets um, a dangerous attack anyway. So this um, choice is a bit risky because I don't really know the de details. If you play such a sharp line or allow such a sharp line, um, you really should, should know this um, much better. A bit risky this choice. Black has a couple of early alternatives on bishop c4. e6 is only uh, only one possible move. Okay, he plays uh, f3 to prepare g4. Um, this is not unusual in the English attack or something, but uh, here it is um, somewhat slow, I think. Okay, should I go for knight a5 and then b5 or b5 immediately? 
Yeah, let's go knight a5. One idea could be b5 and also knight to c4. I don't uh, necessarily want to exchange the bishop here. Okay, he prepares g5. What you always need to be aware of here are various peace sacrifices on f5 and d5. Um, but it would be surprising if uh, they uh, could actually work with... Um, hmm, yeah, maybe. It's not... Uh, not completely ridiculous. Maybe it is an idea to move knight seven on before he plays um, before he plays even g5 I'm thinking about um, maybe play on uh, on g5 maybe play knight e5 f4 knight c4 hmm. Yeah, this, uh, hmm. Hmm. Now, knight e5, knight e5, f4, knight c4, hmm. Or G four or B five, just B five. What I'd like to do is uh, to to some pluck something on C four to to block this um, this bishop here. If he plays F four F five, this bishop would get um, really strong. Of course, I um, I always have the option to just take it, but don't really want to. What I'm asking myself is uh, b5, b5, f4, knight c4, and then f5. Oh, it looks really dangerous for black. Hmm. Yeah, I'm I'm not um, used to these <coughs> these um, positions, and um, maybe everything's fine here. But uh, I'm already slightly terrified of this attack, even if he basically lost the tempo with f3. Okay. So on f4 I play knight c4. Not quite sure what I do on f5. Open. Queen b1 is very slow, very slow move. Okay. Let's get in there. I don't um, really threaten anything yet. Well, maybe to take on e3. From a strategic point of view, I don't think he wants to give up this bishop. But I don't um, have any threats yet on, on his king. I, I don't um, have anything on the c-file yet. Okay, just this one. Hmm. get some attack going I could I could put this knight on b6 and then try to play b4 yeah this is um, one idea I could also s just take here or I could um, try to get a rook on the c file to threaten uh, on b2 
Hmm. Hmm. I don't know really. I don't like the position to be honest. Uh, White seems to still have a decent attack here, and it's uh, well, this is um, really easy to play. He just needs to put all his stuff forward. Is <laughs> he just uh, just go ahead with the pawns? Okay, let's say I play b4 now. He would go knight. Knight a4 doesn't have any other square. Hmm. Hmm, how to get some counterplay here? It's not yet, I think, threatening g6. I can just take uh, on g6 and play h6. Like he, he might be able to sacrifice on h6. Uh, this is dangerous already. Okay, need to get something going here. Place knight a4. This would also distract his pieces somewhat. If I take bishop a4, then um, this is a little bit off here on a4, and I'm not sure if he has something else. Some brutal attack, g6, or anything similar. Yeah, I don't think so. Yeah, he needs to play this. Of course, on knight a4, he could also capture c4, but I don't think this uh, should be a huge difference. I could also take here, actually. Okay. I'm already behind on the clock, so try to speed up a bit. Took on took on um, on c4. Yeah, maybe try to harass his bishop immediately. If he goes to b3, then a5, knight b5, queen c6, then I'm still, still threatening a4. Yeah, let's try to play this in a direct fashion here. Should be a real threat here. Don't think he can ignore it. On something like g6, a4 takes f7. I can capture with the king and um, protect e6 this way. Doesn't look too convenient, but I think I need to. Hmm. Uh, 
yeah, I have my reasons why I <laughs> don't <laughs> play lines like this usually. I always feel that um, in this kind of races, um, yeah, even weaker players could uh, simply mate me, <laughs> just throw everything towards the king and, uh, well, if you do some slight miscalculation, you're easily mated or, or run over. Uh, one thing actually, if he plays knight b5, I play queen c6. If he then just retreats to d4, I'm not quite sure if I have anything else than repeat the position with queen c7. It looks difficult to, um, yeah. Okay, on knight b5, I could play queen b8 to play on. Hmm. Uh, maybe this isn't too bad for me. Still, I um, always um, fear that there is some sacrificial breakthrough. Even stupid looking stuff. Let's say just a fantasy line, knight f5. I take it and then he plays g6 and then takes on f7. Okay, I have bishop e6. Okay, this is just a fantasy line. Okay, he goes for g6. This is, um, of course, the the really hard hard way to play. Yeah, a4. If he takes on... Let's, let's try first. He takes on h7. Then I just drop to h8. Yeah, on h6 I have g6. There shouldn't be a, a direct threat there. If he takes on f7, I recapture with the king. Okay, he could, um, could sacrifice on e6 and bring my king out to e6, which is hmm, <laughs> not ideal, but um, hmm. I could, hmm. could even then take on b6, play queen c4 check. Yeah, well, I don't have a, have a choice anyway. Check. Okay. One line I was considering was takes on e6, bishop takes, knight takes, king takes, bishop b6, king, queen b6, queen c4 check, and then I think I have d7. As a as a square, king on e six is not great, but um, well, a piece is a piece. He could always um, throw in knight b five, but I think I can just retreat to b eight. Or c six, but then knight d five might repeat the position. Okay, let's check um, queen c6 first. Ah, okay, then he, ah, he can actually take and go to c4 on b6. Uh -huh. Maybe I should um, try to... Can I play queen c6 first and decide afterwards what I do? If it takes on b6... I can also take on b3 with an intermediate threat on c2 and a2. Okay, let's go here. Wow, well this is this is a mouse slip, I guess. Yeah, I'll find my take back. Quite. Resigns. Oh no, resigned. Yeah, well, I, I enter take back, take back. <laughs> Actually, to um, it's a bit, it spoils, really spoils the game. It was quite, uh, quite interesting. Oh shame. Yeah, but he resigned immediately. I was uh, offering the take back. Not much more that uh, I can do. Um, let's um. 
Uh, let's try to um, I do a quick uh, analysis here. I'd like to I'd like to know at least a bit <laughs> what's going on. Oh, the computer wants to take any six and gives White a winning advantage. <laughs> okay. Oh no, no. Now he corrects himself. Interesting. Uh huh. Let's check this quickly. Check. Computer was giving this this line, and then this one. Yeah, but now it it says that black is better. Knight c4. Of course, still <laughs> very messy position. What else is Check. there? Yeah, this I think uh, knight b5 um, cannot be cannot be that bad. Or at least Check. it looked um, somewhat logical. Now it um, wants to repeat the position, but what is what about about this move? Isn't this playable? Queen b7, for instance. Or is there some some terrible sacrifice? Yeah. Sure. Hmm. It's um, not immediately obvious, but uh, well, maybe just just queen b five or something. Queen b five. Hmm. Whew, it looks very dangerous. Yeah, I was I was in danger here, <laughs> of course. But uh, of course, um, Bishop C five just just blundered the game away. Maybe he intended to take on. I guess he intended to take here on B six, but. Um, Yeah, he played this. Yeah, okay, but I guess maybe he he wanted to he wanted to take here. Well, then I wanted to uh, was my intention to to take here. Then it should be good for white uh, for black, shouldn't it? If this bishop is gone, besides the tactical problems, um, of course. Yeah, it's just winning. Yeah, this this one is is just hanging. And uh, yeah, black just wins. So if he wanted to to take here, this is, was losing anyway. Yeah, he needs to drop back to d4 here, and then uh, see if I repeat the position or try to play for win. Then maybe he can really, really sacrifice on e6. Yeah, interesting game. Unfortunately, spoiled by by this uh, mouse slip, I guess. Okay, let's um, go for another game.